sign on a dollar. I'm your host Ida and today we want to do a um, Christmas DIY. So let's just jump right into the things you're going to need. You're going to need something to house your paint and stuff in. Also a brush. You're going to need some form of bling. You're going to need some red ribbon, you need some pink or silver ribbon. You're going to need one empty bottle of the Mod Podge thing that you get from the Dollar Tree. The little small size, you need to empty one of those. Or oh, actually two, I'm sorry, you need two of these. You need some form of plastic, um, heavy duty plastic. You're going to need one plaque. This is come out of a six pack. It says a wood slate. Um, you can get it as big as you want, but for my two, all I need is this size right here. You will need an orange Sharpie or some orange paint. Some black um, iridescent glitter. White iridescent glitter. You're gonna need some Mod Podge. A scrap piece of cardboard, a piece of um, either um, burlap or flannel. You're gonna need two different sizes of things to make your circles. I'm using um, a Dollar Tree um, napkin ring and I'm using a glitter bottle. You need some white paint some black gloss paint and some pink paint and little forms of flowers and some decorative Christmas items and I would suggest you either use the ends of your paintbrush or get some skinny dowels or use a pencil it's going to be to hold your um, ball wide dries. You're going to need two of the styrofoam balls like this. I think they are two inches and you're going to need two of the 2.8 styrofoam balls like this. You're going to need your hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. So, we're going to jump right into this project. So fam, the first thing we're going to do is take our piece of cardboard and our napkin ring along with our larger um, circle thing and we're going to trace them out and those are going to be the brim of our snow people hat. So then we're going to take our um, Mod Podge um, containers and we're going to cut the bottom half of it off and throw the other parts of it away. And those are going to be the hats, the top part of the hats. Now the um, woman snowman hat will have a smaller um, top and the man will have a larger top. So you have to cut one small and one large um, Mod Podge bottle. So for the hat, I used some gloss acrylic paint and the black iridescent um, glitter on it. And then um, with the woman's, I used the pink and white acrylic paint together. And then I put iridescent on it. And I did that while both paints were um, drying. So next I'm going, you'll take your board and for the purpose of the video, I'm only going to do a little bit of it. And you will paint your board on white, making sure that you get the size and everything of it. And while the board is still wet, you'll see me put some iridescent glitter on it. And this is going to be symbolic of snow.
and then you're just going to set that off to the side to dry. And um, I got forgot to say that you have two ways you can seal that in. You can use the regular Mod Podge or you can use the Mod Podge spray. And I'm showing you here the paint brushes that I have stuck inside of the balls and I'm taking them out and don't worry about the holes because we're going to have stuff covering it. And so now I'm going to show you how I put the balls together. Now the woman's um, balls, I use the pink on the large along with the iridescent glitter and I use my podge on it and put the iridescent glitter on it. So putting them together, you're going to take um, the hot glue and you're going to put a generous amount of hot glue on the top of your large, the middle top of your large ball. And then you're going to set the smaller one on top of it and just hold it there for a few minutes until it sets in place. Well, not a few minutes, a few seconds. So then you have both of your snow people. So now we're going to move on to um, decorating the man snowman. And what you see me doing here is just reinforcing the top of the um, ball to the bottom one. And so for the man's um, face, we're going to use some black, um, I guess you can say, it's glittery, but it's not glittery. It's shiny. Just say shiny bling on it. And I'm going to start out with using the Mod Podge, but you're going to see me switch over to both my fingers and hot glue because the Mod Podge just not was working right for me. So I'm going to show you the eyes on them. And then we're going to move on to the, um, the beak or the what they call the carrot for his nose. And that's where the hard plastic come in. You're gonna cut a triangle, a small triangle out of it. And then you're gonna take your um, orange paint or your orange marker and you're gonna um, paint it on both sides. And once you have that painted, you're going to snip the ends of your plastic off into like a V-shape, the bottom of it. And then you're going to take your X-Acto knife and go right where you want your nose to be and just cut a little slit in that spot. And then pop your nose in. I know you're going to look like a uh, duck right now, but he'll come together guys trust me and for the mouth We're going to use the same thing the black um, shiny I Guess you want to call it bling wrap But it's black and it came from Dollarama in China one of my friends sent me to send it to me pedal is blessed and I'm going to use four of those to make his a mouth and I'm going to try to make him look like he's smiling and when I finish with him he's going to look like he's smiling but in the end it's going to look like he's frowning so I don't I don't under quite understand that now guys I'm going to make a boo-boo on the next thing now I um, was supposed to go ahead and put his um, burlap on and you're going to see in some clips he has his burlap on and then some clips, he's just going to have the um, three um, buttons down the front of him. So, um, but I'm going to catch that and I'm going to stop myself right here. And I'm going to start um, covering the larger of the two styrofoams up with the um, burlap. And I'm just going to make sure that I get the burlap on and get the seam all in the back. Don't worry if it's not really neat put together because once you finish um, fixing it and cutting all the excess off 
and the bottom will be secured and it'll look kind of bulky but don't worry about that because we're going to take a uh, strap piece of burlap and we're going to put it right down the back of that uh, seam and so it's going to be end up being a nice enclosed seam on the top and the back. And guys, another way, a good way to um, do your um, burlap is to cut little slits in it. And so now we're going to put his hat on. And, you know, Frosty was a cool man, so we put him, his, his hat on. We um, put it on to the side. And now you see he has his burlap suit on. And I'm going to put his buttons on it on his suit now. He has a top hat on. And the next thing we're going to do is secure him to the board. Make sure you use a generous amount. And once again, just hold it there to, to it dry some. And now we're going to put his scarf on. I took some red um, ribbon that had, it was larger than that. And I just cut part of it off. And I'm just putting his uh, scarf on around his neck. And you can see I'm cutting the decorative slits in it um, just to give it some flair. You can leave it straight if you want to. You can use fabric on that as well. And there's Mr. Snowman, all complete, just waiting for his lady. And now we're going to work with Mrs. Snowwoman. And what we're going to do for her is we're going to use um, clear look like gems or rhinestones for her face and with her eyes we're going to make them look like diamonds we're going to put them on in a diamond shape and we're going to do her nose the exact same way as we did um the male snowman and we're going to do the mouth as well the same way except we're going to use the clear bling for her mouth as well So with Mrs. Snow, um, we're going to put her some rhinestones straight down her dress. So she's going to be covered in rhinestones. She got on her sparkly dress and now she got her um, buttons to match. And then we're going to put her hat on the same as that way. And, but hers is going to be sitting right on the top of her head. And she always had like ribbons hanging down so i'm going to take this um silver ribbon i'm gonna cut it in half and then i'm gonna cut the half in half and i'm going to make her some ties for her um hat and they're going to just flap around for a few minutes and i'm going to come back to them as soon as i put her scarf on because i wanted to make sure it wasn't too long for her scarf and we're going to put her scarf in the front of front and we're going to use a brooch to put on her scarf. So now that we have her brooch on um, and her scarf is secure, we can go back and secure her uh, ribbons. That's, you know, tie her hair, her hat tie ribbons. We're just putting a dot of glue on it. And then Frosty gave her a flower in the movie. So we're putting her a flower in her um, hat. And you're going to see in a few minutes, we're going to secure her to the board along with Frosty, 
I guess that's what I'm going to call him. His name is Frosty. And we're going to put those extra flowers that he pulled from to put on her hair. We're going to put it onto the board. And you'll be able to see that the flowers through the backside. And I'm just going to put some extra a hot glue down and put some iridescent glitter as well and here you are mr and mrs snowman frosty and his wife so don't forget to rate comment subscribe like and share and until next time i love you guys bye